this might be the worst advice that I could ever give you. Stay tuned. Hey guys, this is your girl Essence of Shay. I'm back. So in today's video, I will be talking about the worst advice I have ever heard about locks, starting locks, in the process of locks, having locks already. These are the, what do I want to say? But the six worst advice that I have ever heard or came across. Let's get right into it. Number one, glue. Yes, the concept seems seems like it would make sense you know yeah your lock falls apart and it's breaking apart and you need to put it back together instead of forming a knot you add some glue to it and you bada bing bada boom the problem with that process is that's glue <laughs> in your hair like are we thinking before we tell people this advice glue in my hair my hair shafts like bruh number two burn your ends i've heard plenty of people being told that oh if you have like little frizzies on the bottom of your locks like this lock what am I doing like this lock is like frizzy if you have those little frizzies take a lighter burn the tips you know because we do that for like braids why can't we do that for locks I'm afraid I'm in my head I think there are better ways to kind of combine your tips than to just burn them but <laughs> I could be wrong I could be wrong don't listen to me I just have had locks for 14 years and I just know a thing or two I'm not an expert but I'm pretty sure burning your tips no bueno number three honey now I've been asked several times from people should I put honey in my hair I mean all the curly heads they mix like little concoctions and they put honey in their hair and whatnot the problem is is that we have locks boo <laughs> and locks seem to be like a holded i got it locks are a rope <laughs> okay and if you melt the honey and you pour the honey on the rope what happens the honey then goes into the locks the the rope and then it gets hard and that's not coming out <laughs> so I don't think that honey is the best option okay this will be number four and five because I guess you combine them together to make a fantastic conditioner and it's said to make your hair feel uh, bouncy and full and clean and all that jazz and <laughs> this is perfect for people with curly hair or even permed the creamy crack version of hair but not with locks and it is mayo and eggs it but <laughs> no this is the same thing as honey you're putting this into your hair and you think that you're washing it all out but I don't think that you are and may I add do we ever heard of a thing called raw eggs and how it smells after it rottens do we really want that in our locks walking around staking up the joint because people wondering who farted and ain't nobody fart because you decided that you wanted to condition your hair with mayo and eggs so now you're walking around looking like who shot John and stinking up the joint like don't don't do that don't do that don't do that last but not least is the beeswax I don't think this was six this is probably five yeah this is probably five 
beeswax. You guys already know how I feel about beeswax. I have countless of videos discussing why beeswax is not the best option for you. If you want to see, it's too deep to get into. If you want to see those videos, click in my um, maintaining your locks playlist and I'm pretty sure there's a few videos in there as to why beeswax is not beeswax, candle wax, any type of wax, shea butter wax, whatever is not the best for lock family. It's just not. I mean it might seem easy but it's just it's just not. Well, I hope this video helped you guys out with the worst advice ever told to man about locks. If I missed out anything, please leave comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl. Let's get this family bigger. Um, I appreciate you guys all for watching. If you haven't already, go to my other channel and subscribe there as well. I'll be doing like inspirational stuff and blogs when I finally get out the, the house, you know, I'll start doing those again. But yeah, um, and I hope you appreciated <laughs> the lighting because I'm using natural light again because I know a lot of you guys didn't too much like the studio lights, so I'm going to go back and forth with those, but that's why you got the in and out portion of the video with lighting. But I'll see you guys later, Tiger Lilies. Toodles.